Good morning YouTube and welcome to my first ever video. So my name is Glen Egan and I'm from the south of Ireland in a rural area called Kilgarvan. I'm a hill sheep farmer. We run 750 yaws, mainly Chevy, Texel, Suffolk and a Scottish blackface. We currently bought as well, only a couple weeks ago, 50 uh, Suede Ale and Scotch yaws in lamb to Blueface Leicester Rams. We have 720 acres here. We have 120 of it planted with forestry 20 years ago. Most of it's mountain. We have some fields, obviously, of course, maybe 80 or 90 acres of fields. We don't have any fancy machinery here. <laughs> Only our Ford 66, which does the job. All we need it for is the bales of hay. Just back it up against the wall, I'd say. Back into the cow shed. Uh, she's going back up against the sheeting. Keep it down. <laughs> he would break iron. He lost the bill of hand, the wrong sheep are eating it. Go on fast now. So um, I'm farming here with my father. My father is retired. If you get me, um, as he says himself, a farmer never, never retires. So he's always around the place and he's working as hard as ever. Other farms, it's not like that. Whereas before, people. Um, had, um, there was plenty of people around, people wouldn't be going away as much on holidays and going travelling and stuff so it's getting tougher and tougher for farmers at the moment so I carry most of the nuts the feed out to the yaws um, with this Mitsubishi Pajero it's about 30 years old but it's raw as but it's absolutely mechanically working perfect the ground at the moment is very wet and it's gone in shit really but um, Hopefully it'll dry up now just before lambing starts. Please God. So these are mostly singles. There's some couples in there. Most of them are singles. Uh. Um, so we're feeding them. Feed them here on the road because it's good hard surface. This is the main area where we bring all our lambs, sheep and lambs, into all these single pins. So this is a new addition from last year. And last year it worked out really well for us. And we'd be lost without it. So I just cut a hole in the concrete there and we made a ramp up to it. So um, we don't have the four inch pipe along the walls here. Just gonna try it out there because in shorter lengths because this is actually all of the slant. So it needs to be fairly level for the water pipe to work. But um, we were using buckets last year, but it was grand, but it's a lot slower obviously and messier when they knock it over. The tree sheds now are all under the one roof. So this is um, the, cow, the cow house as well where we used to have our suckler cows, but we got rid of them um, a couple of, uh, over the last couple of years. So the rams at present are in here. But we have more lambing pins in here as well. So I just made these out of concrete, concrete blocks and the four inch pipe is there again for the water. It's, it's a great system. And this area is gonna be all, all straw bedded there now in a few days, the front and the back side. And once the lambs are a bit stronger after a day from out of these pins, they'll be let into the big area. And once they're strong enough, then they'll be let, let go out straight away. Um, but at the moment, the uh, rams have been wintered in here. And so mainly Suffolk, and there's a few Lynn and Bill Clare, Texel, and Chevy, obviously. And there's a Squadale, and yeah. So that's the majority of our breeding here. So we also have more, more pins outside here on a, on a little slat. And the four inch pipe is there as well. And a little plywood box for the feed and they're a super job. So there's 15 on that side, and there's 15 on this side, so there's 30 here in total. And we number them all, because if there's any, any lambs with any difficulty or yaws or problems, we just write it up in that board there. There's a chalkboard up there, so whoever's on the night shift or in the day, if there's any changeover people, 